Ready. Set. Secure. Hello, and thank you for joining me today as we look at this week's topic of Splunk Environment Health Checks. My name is Mark Allen. I'm a senior security consultant here at Set Solutions. I've been working with Splunk for roughly five years in a variety of different use cases, ranging from SIM tool rip and replacement to dashboarding and investigations. Let's get into what a Splunk environment health check is, uh, how your environment uh, changes such that it needs one, when it should be completed, and who can perform one for you. To illustrate the importance of this topic, I can relate with a story of mine from back in high school. I used to race hobby grade remote control cars on the weekends. Um, and one of my first cars had significant performance loss when, when I operated it on a tight budget. Whenever parts on the car broke, I used to save money by super gluing the parts back together rather than buy new parts to actually fix the problem. <laughs> Unfortunately, the parts would break at the exact same joint that they were glued together. Uh, unsurprisingly, uh, this method, I guess you could call it, continued uh, until one day I accidentally super glued one of the axles on the differential housing, uh, freezing everything together. Uh, at this point, most of the front end of the car had to be replaced, which was a very costly uh, situation. Uh, while I'm not implying that companies need to adopt the Jurassic Park policy of spare no expense when it comes to their Splunk environment, although that may result in a really nice Splunk environment, uh, but rather don't get bogged down with lazier and proper practices such that the environment's performance suffers costing you more in the long run. In the case of my race car, it cost me the win of quite a few races. In the case of your security environment, it may cause you to miss tracking an intrusion that could later lead to an expensive investigation, recovery, fines, and unwanted publicity. To prevent that from happening, let's look into some possible reasons for how an, an environment may change uh, over time such that it needs to be health checked in the first place. Everything needs maintenance every now and then, and your Splunk environment is no different. If you started sending in data from new sources, experienced an increased ingestion rate from your original sources, onboarded additional users, or started some new projects, each of these criteria impacts the environment in small amounts and needs to be kept in check before the whole thing gets out of hand. As a general practice, it's best to perform a health check on the deployment twice a year or more often if you're making major changes to the environment. If you're planning a large scale change, getting a benchmark on the environment would be advantageous so you know how it performed before and after those changes were made. Even if you aren't changing your environment often, having a uh, check, health check done can reveal pending issues such as out of date apps or improper user permissions or even excessive system resources needed to ingest logs. When you look into getting a health check performed in your environment, you should choose a Splunk partner with expert Splunk engineers who can, who are familiar with the potential hangups of an environment uh, may encounter over time. Set Solutions is just that. Uh, we are an elite status par Splunk partner and we have engineers that can perform health checks and return a detailed list of optimizations for your environment. Reach out to your account manager if you'd like to know more. Thank you for your time and have a great day.